10 Shocking Celebrity Stalking Cases Justin Bieber Justin Bieber was the center of obsession for a prison inmate by the name of Dana Martin, who was in prison for the sexual assault and murder of a 15-year-old girl. Martin even got a tattoo of Bieber's lyrics, Never Say Never, on his leg. He recruited a fellow inmate by the name of Mark Stack, who helped plan the murder and castration of the singer. In 2012, Stack recruited his nephew, Tanner Ruane, to help and drive to Madison Square Garden to carry out the plan. However, Ruane tipped off the bodyguards to the plan, and Stack was arrested. Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt was at the pinnacle of his career in February of 1999. At this time, a woman by the name of Athena M. Ronaldo was found in his mansion wearing his clothes while carrying a book on witchcraft, love letters, and a voodoo doll full of needles. When Ronaldo was found by the police, she stated that she was in the house for 10 hours before getting caught. Luckily, Pitt wasn't home at the time, but the experience was enough to convince him to increase security. David Letterman. In 1988, Margaret Ray was caught driving David Letterman's Porsche with her three-year-old son Alex in the back seat. She claimed to have been married to Letterman and that Alex was their biological son. While she was released, she was caught on Letterman's property eight more times and was even caught sleeping in his tennis courts. Ray died in 1998 after committing suicide by kneeling in front of an oncoming train. Letterman expressed his sympathies for Ray's family. Rebecca Schaefer. Rebecca Schaefer was a teen model turned actress who was stalked by a man named Robert John Bardo. He was obsessed over the actress and tried several times to meet her at the Warner Brothers studios, being turned away each time. He hired a private investigator who got Schaefer's address. Bardo showed up at her house with a gun and expressed that he was upset about a love scene from her latest movie. He shot and killed her a few moments later. Selena Gomez. Even as young as she is, Selena Gomez has had her share of stalkers. In 2011, one of them was 46-year-old Thomas Brodnicki, who traveled to California claiming that he and Gomez were meant to be together. He started showing up at the Disney Studios. Gomez pressed stalking charges, which were later dismissed. But Gomez got a restraining order. However, Brodnicki began emailing Gomez again in 2014. Conan O'Brien. A priest from Bay State by the name of Father David Ajamian was obsessed with Conan O'Brien and followed the show host all over the world from California to Italy. Why? Father David had a message for O'Brien that only he would understand. O'Brien revealed real fear when it came to Father David, who even lived in the same building as him for a time. Father David was eventually arrested and charged with stalking in the fourth degree and two counts of aggravated harassment. Jodie Foster. At the age of 14, Jodie Foster had her breakout role playing a child prostitute in the movie Taxi Driver. From that moment on, she gained a stalker by the name of John Hinckley Jr., who obsessed over her. He even attended Yale, the same school she studied, and sent her love letters and even called her on the phone. Hinckley decided to try to assassinate President Ronald Reagan in 1981 as a gesture of love and was convinced that Foster would love him back if the deed was done. Hinckley was tried and found not guilty due to insanity. He was sentenced to serve time in a DC hospital. Catherine Zeta-Jones. After she started a relationship with Michael Douglas in 1999, Catherine Zeta-Jones found herself being stalked and harassed by a woman named Donette Knight. Knight was obsessed with Douglas and saw Zeta-Jones as a rival for his love. She sent Zeta-Jones death threats, harassing phone calls, and sent letters claiming that she would cut up the actress and feed parts of her body to her dogs. Douglas finally had enough and took Knight to court. She was arrested and sent to jail for three years in 2004. Uma Thurman. Jack Jordan stalked actress Uma Thurman from 2005 to 2007, likely as the result from schizophrenia and bipolar disorder. He contacted Thurman with love notes, letters about her children, and even showed up at her Greenwich home. He was arrested in 2008 and again in 2010 when he violated his probation and attempted to contact her at her office. Madonna. Madonna has fans around the world, including a man named Robert Hoskins, who took to stalking Madonna in 1996. He threatened to slit her throat from ear to ear and was caught numerous times trying to climb the walls into her home. During his last break-in attempt, Hoskin threatened to kill Madonna unless she married him. After he was finally caught and shot by one of the singer's bodyguards, he served 10 years in prison and was then transferred to a psychiatric hospital, meaning Madonna still lives in fear of this man. Sandra Bullock Sandra Bullock had a run-in with her stalker, Joshua Corbett, this past year. Corbett gained entry into Bullock's home and ran into her as she was getting out of the shower and heading into her bedroom. Bullock ran to her room, locked the door, and dialed 911. Corbett was carrying a notebook filled with cutouts of the actress screaming, Sandy, I'm sorry, please don't press charges. Bullock was not harmed. John Lennon. John Lennon, best known for being a member of the Beatles, made a statement about the band being more popular than Jesus and enraged former fan Mark Chapman. Chapman was already a super fan of the band and scrutinized and analyzed the group's lyrics on a daily basis. In December of 1980, Chapman waited outside of Lennon's residence and had him sign an autograph. Five hours later, Chapman shot Lennon five times and killed the iconic musician outside of his apartment. 
We hope you found this video interesting. Here are a couple of other videos that maybe you should consider clicking on. Don't forget to click subscribe. Thanks.